this way, I'm going to show you how to get your Hayward Navigator or Hayward Pool back moving again in your pool. And if you find your Hayward Navigator is not moving in the pool, more than likely it's the A-frame turbine. Or if you have the V-Flex Navigator or Pool Vac, it's probably the V-Flex turbine that's worn out. And Hayward makes two different models of their Pool Vac and Navigator. They make a model now with the V-Flex turbine. They also make a standard model with the A-frame turbine. And this is the newest version of the Pool Vac. The Navigator is also the same. It has a V-Flex Turbine, so I'll show you how to replace the V-Flex Turbine along with the old A-Frame Turbine. And you'll hear me use the term Pool Vac and Navigator interchangeably. Actually, Hayward makes a wide variety of their um, Navigator type cleaners. They have the Navigator V-Flex, Navigator Pro, Pool Vac V-Flex, Pool Vac XL, Pool Vac Classic, the Hayward Blue, the Penguin, the Aquabug, and Wanda the Whale. All of these feature maybe a different shell, but all the internal parts are the same. They either have the A-frame or the V-Flex turbine. So this navigator on the right has the V-Flex turbine, and the one on the left has the old A-frame turbine. So if you look inside this one, you'll see the white turbine. And if you look inside this one here, you're going to see the black turbine. And so what happens with the V-Flex turbine? It uses bearings here. Over time, the bearings will wear out and fall out. You may see them in your pool. It will not operate without the bearings in here to spin this. So this one here is non-functioning. In the standard turbine is black here. What happens is that this part here wears down. Also, the bearings wear out. It doesn't catch properly, and so the cleaner won't move in the pool. So by replacing the A-frame and the turbine, we'll get your navigator or pool vac working again. So in the V-Flex navigator or pool vac, replacing this part here, we'll get everything moving again. So I'll show you how to change out both the turbines in this video. Okay, there are five screws on the bottom. There's two right here, and then there's two here, and then there's one right here holding on this piece here. So we'll take off the bottom of the cleaner. We'll do this with both of them. Okay, now the bottom should pull right off. And the same thing with this one here. And note that the bodies are a little different. This is an older version of the Navigator. And this is a newer version of the Pool Vac or Navigator. So it's a little bit different, but it's the same concept. You're going to remove these four screws here. Or in this case, you're going to remove these six screws here. So let me get all the screws off here, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you want to take the screws out. Here's an important step. Before you take this part out, you want to turn the cleaner back onto the bottom. There's a gearbox on top. If you were to take this off like this, the gearbox may fall apart. And here's the gearbox on top. So if you took it apart the other way, this gearbox may have fallen out come apart which makes the install a little more complicated so I always take it off with the facing down like this. Okay when you remove these four screws on the older body you notice that there's two more screws down here. I'm going to remove these two screws and then I'll take it off with this direction like this with the other one that way I don't drop the gearbox out. Okay let me turn it over. And you can see this one's in really bad shape. You can see that the bearings are pretty much worn out in here. They're actually falling out when I'm turning it. So this one is pretty much shot. So you would just purchase the A-frame turbine kit. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to replace that. It's pretty easy. So included are the A-frame, the turbine, and the new bearings for the turbine. Okay, we'll take this part off here. Okay, let me get the A-frame off here. One thing I should mention is that you can buy a kit to convert your old A-frame turbine type navigator or pool vac into the v-flex turbine it's a pretty affordable kit and it'll change your navigator into the v-flex turbine which i think is a better turbine overall and now you're going to need a screwdriver and just go ahead and take this plug off here it's holding the screw on inside the pod remove that and you'll see this bolt here we'll have to take this off in order to get this off here same with this side here we're going to take the wing off. And this is a one-fourth nut. Go ahead and just take it off. 
maybe on their tight if the navigator or pullback is really old. It's always good to have extra parts on hand. You can see that this pod is pretty worn down. So you can put a new pod on. It's pretty easy to do. Okay, if the pods are under tight, go ahead and pop them off. You can use a screwdriver to loosen them. Again, if it's been in their pool for a while, it may be pretty tight. And same with this side here. And then these simply slide out. You can see that these are pretty worn out too. This one here doesn't even spin. Okay, we'll go ahead and slide these in. Put the bottom part on here. Take the new A-frames and slide them in. They go in one direction only. Pretty obvious. So it's pretty obvious if you have it the wrong direction, it won't slide in. It's gotta go in this direction here. Then I'll go ahead and put the pods on. I'm gonna go ahead and put new pods on this one. They're pretty old. Okay, when you're putting the pods back on, they go in one direction only also. They go in this direction here. If you put it on backwards, you'll kind of know right away that you have the wrong pod on because it's going to stick off the navigator at a kind of weird angle. So you want to make sure that you put the pod on the correct direction. It'll be flush with the body like this. Same with this one here. And this is the bottom. And these are on the bottom of the pods. There's also new screws in here for the pods, which is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and put these in. And same with the other side. Again, this is a good time to change the pods out if they're worn down. It's crucial also to have the pods on tight. If the pods are loose, the cleaner's not going to move properly. So go ahead and make sure that they're on there really tight. Shouldn't be able to turn this at all. See the L here on this one? And here's the R on the other one. You'll see the pods are also marked right and left. So this is the right one. I'm going to put the right wing here. I'm going to put the plug back in, or cap. Put the left wing back on, and these wings are actually in pretty good shape. This part may have came off the gearbox. Go ahead and put this back on. Now we're going to put the A-frame together. You'll take the bearings. You'll see that there's a right and left side here. You'll see a notch also in the bearing. It'll slide on here like this. There's also a notch here and a notch on the bearing here. So kind of line it up to get it on here. And then on the body itself, it's marked left and right. So you want to make sure you place this in the right direction, like this. This should be hanging over on the left side, like that. And then you want to spin the bearings until they lock in. You'll see this mark here. It'll lock in the body. I'll show you the part in the body. You'll see that little notch there. It's got to lock into that notch. So just spin the bearing around until it locks in. Same with this side here. You have to make sure that these are locked in for it to operate properly. Okay, let's go ahead and get the top back on. Go ahead and hold it like this. The easiest way is to pull it like this and kind of line it up with the screen on back. And slide it on. Again, you don't want to turn it over because the gearbox will pop out. Once you have that lined up, now you can turn it over. The gearbox will be held firmly in place. I'm going to get these two screws back in here. Again, this is an older navigator, so it has this part here. Otherwise, you would just simply put it on without this part. Just depends on which navigator model or pullback model you have. I'll put this back on here. Let me get the four screws back in here. Okay, once you have the four screws back in, go ahead and take this part here with the A-frame. Slides in one direction. Should lock in there pretty easily like that. You can also test it by pushing down on a navigator like this on the pod to see if it spins. Everything seems to be spinning nicely. So you want to get the five screws back in the body. Go ahead and put this part back in. Let me open up this brand new navigator to show you the V-Flex kit in here. Okay, I'm going to take the top off here. So here's a new navigator reflex. You see this is marked left. You can see this part here has a little indentation here. This part is the right side. And so the V-Flex turbine is very easy to replace. You just grab it like this, pull the old one out, then you'll take the new one and slide it in like this. The left side here with this little notch, right side sits in there like that. 
You also may see a variation where it sits in here like this without these parts here. And to replace a navigator pull back with a body like this, you would just slide it in here like this. And you would not use these two parts. And if you're upgrading your standard navigator, you would just remove this part here. And you would slide this in here like this with this part on the left, this part on the right. And then you would just replace the old A-frame with this part here. And these parts come in the upgrade kit if you're going to swap out your old A-frame and turbine kit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the body back on. Just snap in like that. The nice thing about the V-Flex turbine is that these will actually spread out and let larger debris in. You can see that the other turbine is a fixed turbine. So it may be worth upgrading your navigator or pullback to the V-Flex turbine. Okay, then you want to go ahead and slide this back on here like this. You can test the V-Flex turbine, make sure it's spinning by pushing on the pods here. You can see that it's spinning fine. For the first generation of the Hayward V-Flex Navigator, a pullback looks like this here. A little bit different than this generation. Let me get the shoes back on this one here. You notice that there's a small hole and a larger hole. And on the shoe, there's a small hole and a larger one. If you soak them in water, it makes it easier to put them back on. If you push one side on first, the other side should go on pretty easy. That's a look at rebuilding three different generations of the Navigator and Pullback by Hayward. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.